Jacob and Nicola were up on their feet and running for the door without hesitation, and Leal was right behind them. Cardi, look after Dawn, Leal called as she ran after Jacob and Nicola. Cardi barked deeply in reply. Jacob, Nicolo, and Leal ran down the stairs of the inn and out the door just after several people piled inside and ran for somewhere to hide. They stepped out into the streets and looked for the, where the cry had come from, and Jacob instantly knew they were in trouble. Two in front of us, just out in the open, and I sensed more behind, he thought. But his train of thought was cut off when there was another cry from deeper into the city. This is bad, Jacob. We've got to do some damage control. Maybe your fire can scare them off, Nicolo shouted loudly, perhaps with intent to frighten the creatures. But it seemed to backfire as both stocky, shambling wolf creatures came running at them, and two more came from behind. Jacob knew exactly what to do and spun a furiously burning wheel of flames that surrounded them and made the creatures back off. They seemed somewhat frightened by the fire and started fleeing. One wolf creature started toward the entrance of the inn. Jacob leaped straight at it and nailed it in the cheek with his heel, caving in part of its face and sending it bouncing through the dirt. The wolf creature yelped and scrambled to run from him, so Jacob let it go, but he could feel the other three from before sneaking up to converge on him now that he'd left the circle of flame. One was coming from close by on a side street, and Jacob could see him. The other two were coming from behind the inn. Jacob drew his blade, and the wolf creature he could see stopped cold, still out of sight of Nicolo. Jacob made eye contact and with Niccolo, pointed to both of his own eyes, and then pointed to the wolf he could see. Niccolo nodded. Without warning, he turned and headed around the side of the building, expecting to surprise the two sneaking behind, but it seemed they got the jump on hidden instead, having climbed the inn and dropping down on him in an ambush. He batted one aside with a powerful kick that sent it spinning, but the other wolf creature slashed him across the face. Jacob recoiled before recovering and lashing out with a slash of his own, ripping the creature open from hip to shoulder. It whimpered and yelped as it held its chest and fled in terror, routing the other wolf and making it flee as well. Jacob ran to check up on Niccolo, and as he'd expected, his companion had coated the hands and feet of the monster with crystal, making it unable to move. Everyone all right? he asked. Leal and Niccolo nodded. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you? Niccolo asked. Jacob remembered the pain in his face and put a hand to his cheek before touching it and finding it sleek and unmarked. I'll be alright, he said, mostly to himself. 